Black feminist activists embrace legacy while crafting their own representations. Artistic articulation is a tool for enhancing awareness of legacies of activism and legacies of love. Simply through its existence, black women's art is a critique of institutions. It reclaims their bodies from the patriarchal gaze, canonizes their voices as they tell their stories, rebuffing the dominant white supremacist narrative. The medium of art is a means for the expression of experience, of loving appreciation. Black feminist creators hold themselves as subject rather than object, just as we, the viewers, must exercise our power as active listeners and thinkers. Yi Tang Yang's 1996 short film Badass Supermama critiques the legacy of a television figure beloved to her in childhood, Foxy Brown. This creator remakes Foxy in her own image. Women's images are often out of their own control, their bodies under societies and the media's jurisdiction. This black feminist creator takes on Foxy Brown's legacy and challenges it. Within this image that was created to function for the patriarchal, heterosexist gaze, she finds common ground. Inyang edits her face and body over Foxy's scenes, interrogating her legacy lovingly, inserting her own image into the narrative. She reclaims Foxy's image from the male gaze. She reinvents her. I struggle to find your connections to women. It's easier to watch when I remake the story. Black women are producing counter-hegemonic narratives by representing their own stories. Alice Walker's work also honors the legacies of those before her. Her writing operates within the assumption of black women's inherent beauty and the beauty they communicate through their art. Walker's work constructs black women as creators and in doing so acknowledges their agency in carrying on legacies of black womanhood, subverting hegemonic white supremacist notions of beauty and art. Black women are producing counter-hegemonic narratives by representing their own stories. And paint pictures of the young me more beautiful than I ever was. Stacey Ann Chin's work, If Only Out of Vanity, expresses her desire to carve her way in the world and defy all previous categorization. I want to go down in history in a chapter marked miscellaneous because the writers could find no other way to categorize me in this world where classification... Her spoken word poetry interrogates narratives of beauty as well as heteronormative patriarchal systems around her. Videos of her poetry will carry her legacy as a black lesbian who lived outside of the prescribed patriarchal understanding of womanhood. In her artwork, Wangechi Mutu resolves the issue of representation by finding herself in the stories she knows, painting and collaging the images of black womanhood, her own image. This art exists as a collage of the media's hegemonic gaze, made up of capitalist society's images of beauty and female sexuality that black feminists absorb and consume. They ingest them, taking them in and remaking the media to be of themselves. Television, documentary work, literature, art, and poetry are these women's means for communicating their stories, for representing their narratives within and without the framework of their mothers before them. Art and new media forms allow for both the preservation of the legacy of black womanhood as well as the interrogation, reclamation, and reinvention of the past and the present.